Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow Empire with me, Time and Tactics. We are now in the year 177. It's early winter, as we can see up here. I'm trying to expand east. We should take Izeta Refuge over here, because that will provide us a few more colonists in Ryerfield. We get, what, 200? Yeah, 200 per turn. That'd be very helpful, actually, since it's such a small population. We don't have enough in logistics right now to be able to ship more over from Hexapeak over to Wirefield, and we can see that over here. Current points, you can see there's one left here. This is our problem right here, shipping from there over here. But we'll take care of that next turn, I think. I want to move a few units, though. Let's see what we have here. Not you, that you can stay there. This would be an infantry unit, and I'm putting a lot of faith in militia infantry. Maybe I shouldn't, but for now, let's move them down this way. They're down here. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're down here in this area. Let's go down. What, what do we have? 38 P. Yeah, okay. Firefield Guards Battalion. They have 45 left. We can get one more. Yeah, we'll go here because there is a river here, actually, isn't there? There's a river right there. Let's move down. Oh, we can't move this one. These we can move with. And you know what? It's something I thought about. If we let them come all the way up to here, Villanov, not only do we lose Villanov, but they're going to be right next to the city, and that's going to cause a lot of unhappiness. We have to move down here now, I think. Where are we at as far as readiness? That's action points. Readiness, 70%. Yeah, it's going to have to do, I think, right? So let's move down. We can go all the way down there. We're going to lose a lot of readiness, though. But let's go there. I think I have to do it. We have one of our Crusader units over here. This one is very effective against soft targets as well 98 91 is not bad let's move it down here on the coast yeah let's do that artillery yeah we'll take the artillery as well and then we can always fire over there although that's very slow remember i didn't make it motorized one and the grenade i mean grenade gr that's not grenade galactic republic we'll move it down here but we'll put a few of the machine gun units there as well i'm gonna leave the motorized in the city although motorized is not the best to have there maybe we'll leave something else let's see what else do we got here we can look on the left side i don't really want to leave well maybe we'll just leave a machine gun unit it's more effective anyway in that terrain let's move one down here another one down there now we have one left we'll take leave these two here and maybe even this motorized one as well no actually i'm gonna move that one down let's take this one and move it down here terrain is not perfect as we know, agricultural gives you a negative 25%, but not as bad as heavy forest, negative 70. So let's make sure we uh, we keep that in mind. You're going to stay on this side of the river. What else do we have? We have the 1st Infantry, 1st Machine Gun Infantry Brigade. Let's move him down close by, because I think, if I remember, you get a bonus to the combat strength based on the distance. We'll move him down right behind the front line. What I imagine is going to be the front line anyway. Something else we have to do is to take care of our ammunition situation right now. We're sitting at two. That's not enough. Let's go to the workshop. We have a lot of metal on hand and we have quite a few industrial points. I want to get... To, what do we get here? We need 0.1 industrial points per ammunition. We'll do 300. Here. There. Produce that. So we have a bunch. As you can see here, we have 24 ammunition on hand for this particular unit. 30 over here. Yeah, so we have barely enough. But let's make sure now. We have 300 more. We'll see how long that will last. That is the number right there. 302. Also, let's look at our cards here. And look at the cards that deal with HQs. The OHQ. We have four cards that we can play. This one here seems pretty good to me. Fluid Defense. If we change the posture of an OHQ by playing this card, we get a bonus to our defense for infantry and artillery. Mechanized forces, that would include our armor, right? Our crusaders, they get a negative 30 on defense, but 30 plus on attack. So we could change that posture. We want to do it before it's time to attack, but um, we'll keep that in mind. There's a couple more here we can use in a pinch. We'll see how many units they have here down here. We'll probably attack at some point, right? Is this open terrain? That's Plains Grassy. We can attack there with our Crusader unit. Let's go check out the regime feat as well under the management screen. Here, profiles. We had one that we got. This one, Capable Supervisors. 
Our administration of our zones is very efficient. For 1,000 pop and worker, we get one extra food. Well, that's going to be helpful. And we get that stratagem grand convention. We might already have that one. I think it will help out when we have poor morale with our leaders. But right now, we're looking pretty good, I think. Looking here at this is not bad. It's not terrible at all. Let's leave it at that. Let's check out our units in the north. Do we need to move them around? I have 201 industrial points. You want to send up the road up here, I think, at least. We'll send them over here, 40. We can go up here, 40. And then we'll go down here again, and there is another 40. Let's do that. Let's go up here. Yeah, and we'll send it up this way. And I have 81 left. Another 40 up there. That's good. Now it's going to have, we're going to have supply now, I think. And we can build maybe a zone here eventually. Now let's move these guys in then. Well, we can't move this one. He has no APs. 30 left. That's not enough. This one, yep, yeah, move him up there. We want to get close to the road here, I think. And this one at 30 is out of moves as well. Okay, that's good. And I think that means we can now probably go to the next turn. Do I want to move anything else down? No, we'll leave this one there. And I'm on move mode. I am on move mode now. Okay, here we go. Let's move down here. And this one could go down south, but I think I'll stay here just in case they pop up somewhere here on the east coast. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Yeah, let's do that and go to the next turn. Round 33. Research complete, sealed roads. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Hopefully I have some of those industrial points available. And we designed a new model, motorbike infantry. So we discovered, not designed, we discovered a new model, motorbike infantry. Okay. We got a couple more attack, uh, more cards here. Infantry attack plus 75%, defense minus 75. It's going to be, you know, situational, but still not bad. Zoo project, so we could place those in Ryerfield. Okay, so here we go. Do we have anything here happening? No, nothing happened. They're still sitting down there. They took this area. What are we at now? 80? No, uh, 66 in readiness. We should make sure we uh, keep an eye on this. It should go up. We have 302 ammo. They don't need ammo right now. I guess we were able to give enough ammo to everybody that needed it. But once we start fighting, then we do need it. Okay, let's go up here. What do we have? Are they in good shape up here? They're in decent shape. Let's uh, pick this one. I'm going to take everything here. We want to go actually over to Zeta Refuge to get more population to to Ryerfield. Do we want to leave one unit up here? Maybe we do want to leave one one militia unit here on the west coast. I don't want to leave it completely undefended. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go down south here. What do we have? You're going to stay there. Looking at the map, we still own all this, right? Yeah, we do. I mean, not this one, but that's fine. And moving down south, yep, and for move, let's go down here. I don't see anything here. Nobody moved, so that's fine. You're coming around here. Yeah, that's the best, I guess, open terrain. We'll go down there. I think I want to sneak down around the bend here before we do anything else. That, wait a minute, there is a motorized unit here. Put you in the open terrain, and then I'll take one of my machine gun units. Do I have any machine gun here? Yes, I do. Let's move you out there and defend a little bit. What happened to my OHQ? Did I not move it? No, that's Supreme Headquarter. This is the OHQ. I get confused by one inf versus, you know, the other one, which is S1. But that's fine. Here we have, what, uh, two machine gun units and one Galactic Republic. That should be plenty. Move you down here. Supporting them here. Yeah, it looks good. We have one more infantry unit here. We'll move it down here. Now, we want to maybe do a little probing attack with a militia unit to see what's down here. Can I go in here? I can. Okay, there's nothing there. Maybe there's nothing here. We could move in with the... Oh, and I don't want to move the, uh, with the uh, machine gun units because they're going to be weak on the offense there. Plus, they are not expendable like the militia unit is. Okay, we have enough ammunition. That's looking good. What do we have in Hexapeak as far as assets? Always good to look at that. Is anything coming online? Ah, a scout station is coming online here, private one. It will provide security points. Do they need a security point? Hexapeak. And we'll go down to Civilization Score. Right now we have 14, but our QOL, quality of life, is 22. That's the way it should be. And security 18. That's good. That should increase that. That's, that's great. 
that's going to increase next turn. Hexapig is fantastic. Now, looking at Ryerfield, we're just even here in Civilization and QOL. Do we have any assets coming online? Nothing yet, but we can see here that... Uh, where is it at? There. Next is a Farming Dome community will come online. I'm going to go ahead and give the population now. Let's see here. If you look at our initial points at the beginning of the round. Okay, we had a few. We used not everything. Current points. We have current points here on the road available to use. There's really no bottlenecks at all anymore. And that sealed road is going to help as well. But what I want to do first is get my population up here. Not as workers, I don't think. We have 8,200 workers and only 7,800 jobs. And we gained 300 population. So it's actually going to be fine over over time, I would think. There are no private jobs right now. So do we really need to dump the population in there? Or do we do that up here? Do we create another zone up here? Do we have enough to be able to support three of them? You know what? I'm going to save these colonists and we'll see what we'll do with them. Well, we have the 243 industrial points. If you're not going to use them with colonists, we could use them on the roads. We want to kind of connect everything up here so we can move quickly in case there's a problem. But before I do that, if we have sealed roads, we could get that, right? So let's say I do a sealed road between Hexapeak and Sotena Ruins. Seems like a good hub right here, right? Can go up north to that new zone as well as over to Ryerfield. So if I go here and press R for roads, sealed road will cost 50 per hex. We have 243. I'm going to try it and see what we get. So that would be here. That's actually, uh, it's a 36 uh, cost now because we are doing an upgrade, I think. So if I do all the way up here, can I do it? Nope, 324 is too much, but I can go here. Let's go all the way up there. So there's our sealed road. So uh, next turn, we're going to get a little bit more there. And then we'll be able to move quickly there. Preview, I don't think that's going to matter too much, but we're going to see the action points not go down as fast. For the reports, yeah, I think it looks good here. We're doing okay. Getting that military council would be helpful, though. Because then we can research, and I haven't really done much of that. I mean, look at it. Uh, but the military council, RPGs, high-velocity guns, padded and virus suit, automatic rifle, it's time, right? I mean, I think it's time. Even though it's going to cost us quite a bit, we have cards we can play to recruit directors. Let's go ahead and get that going. New organization. I want to go for Military Research Council. Let's get that. Let's go military. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll see next term what happens there. Economic Council Research Objective. Um, well, that's a new objective. Well, we're going to have to go hydroponics. That's all we got. Let me go see what we have for the councils now. So now at the Economic Council, we are researching hydroponics. We got the sealed roads, but I'm still sitting at 40%. Discovery is at 10. I don't know. I mean, maybe we need to change that back, right? If you talk to Mindy, let's change that back. We want to discover more. Yeah, let's go for it. Standing by. Priorities? Order That's the one we want. Okay, discovery. I'm going to go up. Let's leave these here. And we're going to go up quite a bit to 60 now. And I think it's fine Order spending a few points here and there to uh, do that. Now, here are all the councils now. Supreme. Is this, that include our newest one? It uh, military is there as well, so now everything will go down proportionally, but I'm okay with that. We'll yes, do confirm. Sir. Now, we probably should be thinking about getting more BPs, because right now, splitting it up the way we are, it's not great. Looking at the overview, going to Empire Dashboard, 216 has not really gone up. And we know why we're getting 216, right? If you go to Assets, we can see them here. It's uh, this one. High Command, 14. Any other book that we see? Yeah, this one. Bureaucratic Office, 70. Can I upgrade that? I probably can upgrade it, but 6,400 workers, that'd be fine. 200 BP. It's a lot. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, construct menu, right? We're in town. Government, bureaucratic office. Takes two rounds. 4,400 workers every round. 200 metal, we have it. 100 industrial points. That's going to impact our sealed roads, I would imagine. But I do want to get this. If I'm getting another office, we need to be quick about it. Not mess around too much. Let's go ahead and get this one here. So I can do a start upgrade. I think I can do it. Roger that. That's Hexapeak. Okay, so it's going to be upgraded there. 
Okay, I think that's really all we want to do. We'll see if they attack. If they don't, maybe we'll attack next turn. Let's go for that. Round 34. No attacks. Civilization level, what did it say? Go up to level 3. Okay, re key regime level increased. Fate strategy pack, and we have quite a few of those fate points. I think like 5 or 6. 4 new of those. Those are very good. I haven't used any of them, actually. Three new regular stratagems as well. There's nobody. Is there anybody here? I'm not sure. But let's look at the history. No history. They haven't moved. They have not moved. Are they still there? If we go back to the map. Let's move down. Let's come around here and go straight across there. And see if there's anybody there. Okay, there's somebody there. Okay, ambush. So this is going to give us an idea what kind of units there are. I don't have autoplay turned on, but let's see. Do we have any information here? We have no information at all. I think we're going to lose it. That's yes, sir, for sure. Free Folk Marauders. Ninth Hexapeak Free Folk Marauders. Really? 21. Fairly large. Regiment in size. Okay, we got, we're leaving the area. Recon 74. Do we have any information about them? Nothing really at all. Okay. But now we've found out a few things here, I think, right? They got some experience, but that's that's okay. I mean, that's all I can do. Textual, here we go. Entrenchment 100. They're just sitting there. We should be using our artillery. What I'll do is I'll, I'll take a look and see where they are. More in detail, because I think this unit here is not right by the front. Run! 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 Yeah, we're running now. Okay, they're sitting there. I meant they're not right here, so we need to move in closer. Should I move up there? Could lose the unit. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, nobody's there. We're going to move down our artillery. I think they have to be right next to the enemy to attack, so we'll move them down across the river. There. Um, what do we have here? Let's see, we have two units. Yeah, that's fine. We'll move them down. Together they can hold here, I would imagine. I want to see, do we have enough here to get recon on them? 184. That's not bad. What do they have? Three units. Rifle militia on this one. Rifle militia. Okay. What is that? 40. Nothing really there. We can attack them. Not with the machine gun, though. What do we actually attack them with? I guess I'm going to be using the artillery to soften them up for... This unit? We need something to attack them with. Now, I know I can attack them with something like my my light tank, but 70% reduction. And I don't want to leave them there. We'll move this one down there. Do we have anything else? No, that's one unit only. It's sitting at 68 redness. We could be in trouble there. This one is at 100. We'll move it down here to help out. Let's do that. OHQ right behind them. And then we'll kind of control them here until we figure out what to do with the other units. Okay, now, we have a few points, right? Industrial points, 98. Can I get the sealed road? If you select that hex here, road sealed, there will be 90. I'll do it. Now we should be in good shape. I'm not going to build any more. I'm going to wait a little bit until we do that. These units should be in good shape with the road here. Let's see. No bottlenecks. Yeah, it's fine. We're sending up supplies up this way. Okay, yep, let's go for it. Let's go over to Zeta Refuge and take it within our control. There we go. Now we're going to get more population. There. And there's nobody here. That's what I wanted to see. We'll just move on because we have... Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, it's the only one there. Okay, well, hmm. Yeah, didn't want to leave that artillery unit by itself. But that road, it's open to rain, plain snow, it's fine. No problem at all there. I'm going to take everything here. There's one hex left. Did I not take that one? There. And we head on back down next turn. Yeah, to a Conan Ruins. I'm thinking maybe a city here. Is that a good spot? I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a road, um, yeah, road from here up there, probably, something like that. West Coast looks fine. I This one here we didn't take for whatever reason, but we're going to push against them. But what do we actually use? What kind of unit? Looking at our formations, we have these. We can do a light infantry brigade. It's really nothing there. And motorized, I don't want to use. The bazooka won't help either. What about our research? This is where my... Our lack of military tech is going to be a problem. 
We'll look at the types, actually. So we have two artillery ones now. We have we do. Mechanized artillery, we haven't done that. There's no complete design of it. That's true. Would be, artillery would be one option, right? We hit them with artillery and then move in with the infantry. Other than that, light thopter, these are all... Yeah, these are planes, right? Light thopter, helicopter, ultralight aircraft. Down here, bazookas. We're going to have to go with the infantry, I think, right? And that means we're going to have to get tech, I think. Equipment that we can put on, automatic rifles. That's the key. So let's get that military one going. But that's going to have to be... Well, it's going to be next turn? No, we need one here now. A director. Okay, that's fine. Let's get a card for him. Here we have a recruit military. We don't really want that, right? I don't think. Didn't we have a senior somewhere? Recruit talent. The young leader that is capable. Maybe that. Here's a senior. Old leader with loads of experience. I think I'll take the old leader. Affirmative. Now, that's the reserve pool. Let's see what he is actually capable of. Zed Simmons, he's level 3. Yeah, a few skills here and there. Governor, trade, yeah, I don't know. But he's going to be our military guy. Uh, research, so he's science. Yeah, I guess I don't have anything on that. But that's fine. I'm going to give him that job anyway. So let's go ahead and assign him to that job. We'll do a point. Yeah, 24 actually is pretty high. Uh, we'll go. Okay, that's good. And then on to model design council task priorities. Review them. Discover 50 and design 50. I think we want to look at the management screen for that. If you look at the types, anything here in light, medium tank can be discovered. That's the only one that can be discovered. This one here is discovered, but could be designed. Motorbike infantry as well. Maybe we want to do that, actually. I think leave it at 50-50. Confirm. Aye, aye, sir. Foreign Affairs, Task Priorities, Major Diplomacy, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm going to leave these. Major and Minor, leave them at 50, so we get cards equal, because we know of both Minor and Major nations. And then Military Research Council, Task Priorities. Discovery, right? Because we can't really research anything. That only comes into play if you already know something. So, Tech. And we can see Hydroponics here. Discovered, but not researched. So we should do Discovery for the whole amount. And we'll see what that means. Waste disposal accident in Ryerfield. A nasty accident occurred with foul-smelling waste covering our streets. We're cleaning up as quick as possible. No casualties, but there is widespread nausea, and the population perceives it as a potential danger. Some help would speed up cleaning. Will you support us? What do we have? Oh, 729, because we're selling. That's what we need to do. Maybe some kind of storage facility? Can we do that? Hmm, oil, that's, yeah, I think that little asterisk shows that we have too much. Well, we're basically selling some off and losing some as well. Give our full support. Administration roll 1D, 100 plus 74. Cost 4 political points. Danger can go up. And this is one of those danger rolls, right? I think, you know, we have that time of crisis. Solve it alone? No, nope, we're going to use this here. Yeah, definitely. Roger that. I'll get on it. Difficulty 133. 33, I thought it was 109, but it was that time of crisis. Our efforts didn't have much effect. Danger increased by 10%. Danger in Ryerfield. If you look at Ryerfield now, 10. But I think it will go down. And happiness is very high. So we don't really have anything to worry about there. I think we'll be fine anyway. And by the way, look at this. Look how far the road, the uh, that unit can get travel now thanks to that sealed road. Wow. What else can we build in Hexapeak though? If you look at our assets, well, let's look at our construction menu. Yeah, I looked through all of them here. There's really nothing we can do to collect that oil, I think. We're just going to have to lose it. If you look on the sell screen here, we can see that we can sell fuel. 0.15. We get almost nothing, but that's fine. We'll sell that. I think that's fine. We have 794 here. We could, we could take a private business here if we wanted to. I don't know if I actually need anything here, though. Unless they have put in something else here. Uh, what did we get? A hospice here? What does that do? Health. Excellent. Keep going. Going with that. Here's our scout station. You know what? I bet you anything that we have uh, our situation under control here. 18, 23. 
yeah, it's going up. Entertainment maybe is not as high as we would like it. What about our building here? 1.9 turns left. Okay, I used up all of my industrial points, so we can't really use that again. That's why it's going to take a while to get the command points. I need to just sit on it. Let's go to the next turn. Turn th or round 35. Let's see. Maritime Trading House arrived to discuss with us. We actually have money to talk to them now. We discovered a new OOB, Motorized Machine Gun Infantry Armored. We found a hidden treasure near Zeta Refuge. Two high-tech items. We need that later when we have researched more things. A few more things there. Okay, now, what does it look like here? First of all, history, nothing there. Okay, that's fine. They're still sitting here. And I have a unit here that has 90% uh, readiness. We can attack down there. I think we will do that. Up here, we're going to move east. Let's do that first. Let's move them east. Corona. We should take Corona. This is all Ryerfield, so they're going to move in. Maybe not. They're not going to move in right away. There. That's going to be max that I can do. I'm going to save my 118 points because I can almost guarantee that we don't have anything here. No progress. No, we did have a little bit of progress. What did we get? We have 109 out of 200 left. So we did get... Uh, some of those produced locally here, I guess, industrial points to go against that bureaucratic office. I want that because that BP, those BP points are going to be very important to get more of our tech done quicker. Do I want to move the units down? Well, we'll think about what we're going to do here. Let's go back in and check out our offices or our councils. So the one I want to look at is the staff council overview. And I see here we're doing light armor. We knew that. But it takes us a long time, right? Potentially. Can we... Well, let's call Sonic up here. And look at priorities. We have 117 points. I can waste two to look at it. Because I want to make sure I'm looking at the right thing. We're just operationalizing. Okay, that's all we're doing. But we could set this target here. We can keep the target or new target. Oh, that's because we got another option. We only had one we could pick before. The light army. Now we can do motorized machine gun. Well, I'm going to keep the target there. But I'm not super excited about getting it. Roger that. Yeah, we'll keep that. But do we want to say discover instead? We could get more. I mean, more options then, right? But maybe it's better to switch that once we have researched something for our military tech. Yeah, I think so. So the priorities will confirm them. That was a waste of two points, right? Oh, the Saga Ocean. They're on the west coast, right? We should talk to them. Yeah, we'll pay for it. 200 credits. Uh, we'll go. We can now upgrade while well, we could upgrade before. Minor Town, level 4. 20 political points. I think there's going to be more demands on us if we do that. I don't think I want to do it just yet. It's five difference here. We'll wait. Ask Roger me later. It, the main benefit is you can go past your level. We're level 3 right now. If we have a level 3 building, we can go to level 4, but we don't have the need for that. My assets are very weak. You see, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. Well, too soon. Not not, not quite yet. Do we have anything else going on here? There's the hospice. That would give us more health. Anything else? Nope, that's it. And what about here? Nothing coming online. Nothing yet, anyway. And I think we know... There. Farming Dome Community is going to be the next one. Once they have enough money, 212 credits is not enough, I guess, to be able to, you know, produce anything. So putting more population in here would be helpful. Well, we have 7,800 workers and 7,800 jobs, so that's fine. The rest here is population, but there's no private jobs there. Yeah, okay, well, I don't think I can do anything else with that, so we'll leave that there. In the north, we've taken almost everything. They're sitting over here. That will be interesting. Can I really take them with this? Maybe I can. If I use the artillery, if we take all of this, that would be helpful. I'm going to take this unit and move up maybe close to the road. Do we move up close to the road here? No, we go to the ruins here and then past here and then up and help out. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, what do we do down here? I'm going to attack, I think, with, well, with this unit here, the artillery unit. No return fire expected. I just right clicked, by the way. So we have one unit that can attack. Negative 10% due to readiness modifier. Yeah, it's 90%, right? Plus 10 for experience. We're going to gain experience, which is going to be great. Here's our OHQ. 
So 12% bonus on that. That is very helpful, actually. So let's go ahead and do a range attack. And we'll take a look at this here while we are. I think it's going to actually help us quite a bit on the entrenchment if we then do it every round. But having one unit, I'm not 100% sure that's going to do much. Still 100. Current. Nobody is dead. Yep. No, one is retreating. One dead. And we took one out. Okay, great. 66 now. Okay, that worked out. We should have gained some experience on the howitzer. Go to models. Artillery. Nine. I don't think we have nine before, did we? That's good, though. But uh, we really should have a loader in there. It's much better. So I should get a unit. I should build some, actually, shouldn't I? And upgrade that. I think the first thing we should do is to mark the howitzer as low here in the quality level. That means we're not going to be, well, depending on what we do down here. But I'm going to use that to say, similar to how we did for the uh, other unit here. On the infantry side, the line troops, we said low. We're going to do that there as well. So as we can see here, we have artillery in the first independent motorized and first independent artillery. Let's mark this as tolerated. You can keep them if you have them, but otherwise, no. Let's go to the SHQ and click on replacement troops. And then we'll select artillery and go to the loader. Quality is medium. And we can produce here, I think. Yeah, we can do that. So how many do we want? One. Um, we can have, what, five? I got to check that now. What is the... Yeah, five here. Fifty. Well, five. So select that one. Replacement troops. Actually, we don't need to select it. I think we can just do replacement troops. It's in the SHQ. Let's go to artillery. We'll get the loader. So let's get... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we saw that. Select that and we'll do... We'll get five anyway. And then we'll see next turn. I know we we're saying... I said before to keep it. Keep all of our points so we can get more BP. Maybe I shouldn't get any now. Okay, we won't get any right now we'll get that next turn so i'm gonna get more of those loaders next turn and we can put them in here and then attack there and that should be better and i think we'll leave it here for now i think i'm okay we're gonna take these areas here hopefully we can take out that unit that's there and then we'll see if we can build another zone here and also down here i'm gonna upgrade the artillery and we'll see about the getting a new formation and more military tech as always this game is deep there's a lot to do i feel like i just scratched the surface right Anyway, come back next time. We'll play more, I guess.